You are now in the court of O'Neill, Duke of Ulster. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings. I am Sifa Cat, and today in the court of O'Neill, we've run into a bit of a problem. Yes, last episode we decided to start a war with Konya, unexpecting that they were more skilled at warfare compared to us. I didn't think that was going to happen, given the fact that I've been in so many wars, but turns out, don't know shit about wars. These guys... These guys are actually far better at war than I am. So I can't kill their leader. I can't kill their general, rather. Oh, darn, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. So that's kind of annoying, but that's fine, because I will continue my other plans. Now, this is kind of annoying, as I just said. Oh, more money, excellent. But we've got another couple of plans. That will work. This is the fun thing. So I want to organize a plot to kill you. I still want that. Now, you note that I haven't immediately gone to try and defend myself. There's a reason for that. Because right now it's not my biggest concern. Okay. Lost some men. Okay. So we've got... Oh, a few weeks before they take this over. Can I launch a counterattack? I may be able to launch a counterattack, especially if they keep being disease. Okay, let's see what sort of force I can raise. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to raise this force yet. I'm just going to combine them and see if I've got perhaps... I've got to have at least one good general in this damned... <laughs> well, they're not even generals, I suppose. I've got to have one good general in this damned country of mine. In, the du in my duchy, rather. Okay. So I was told before that I could change the uh, leaders. I didn't try because I didn't think I could, and it turns out I can't because my uh, crown authority is too low. So that's something I cannot do. I've got an idea, though. But there's a couple of ideas of ways I could get around this. One idea would be to hire a band of mercenaries and just crush them. That is the thing I could do. Uh, I'd need a little bit more money. I'd need another... Those are the boats. I would need another for, say, 10 gold or so. Could do that. Ah, oh, excellent. Another alternative is I'm going to find a character who is high in military, outside of my realm, who perhaps wants to join me. You're a marshal. I don't know if you'd come my way. You probably wouldn't. No. So really I'm just trying to find someone who is strong, male, okay, male, uh, yes, must be an adult, uh, ruler, well, actually, let's imprison, no gender, male, alright, let's see if we can invite anyone, I d honestly don't think we could, hmm, I'll just pause for a moment here while I just see if I can... Find someone who is just a simple courtier. You're a courtier, but you don't really like me. But you know what? I'm going to try. False religion, okay. It's still fairly high in martial skills. Look, let's also search by, let's search by opinion. Maybe that way we'll find someone who's fairly high up. Uh, don't want to be interested in anyone less than 10. You are one of my people already. Uh, this is not looking good, guys. It's really not. Oh, wow. The, the bishops love me. Oh, because I'm high in piety, of course. Damn, son. Look at all those bishops who just think I'm the best. Okay, we get it. The bishops like me. <laughs> Jeez. Um, you? They're not going to join me. Okay. I don't think this is happening. I'm actually offering them land as well, but no one's going to join me. Okay, that's fine. So we go to step two, which is... Well, before we go to step two, we're going to go to step one, which is raise the army and see if we can beat them in combat. We're going to try one more time. If we can't, then we hire the mercenaries. So we're going to wait a few more days. Then we're going to let them take over this place. There's not a lot I can do to stop them here. I really should not have begun this war. Oh, you're building a barracks. Nice. Good work. 
Um, the defenders keep trying to kill them. It's kind of frustrating. I wish I'd stop that. But they're not going to, are they? Although their numbers are reduced. So this is okay. So we will now gather the men. Men! We try to go to war again. This time we're going to be successful. By order of the king. It was still me. Because I still decided I'm going to be king. Well, this guy, he's coming out to be a good soldier. He's not a soldier yet, but he will be. And he'll be an amazing soldier. Okay, so again, we outnumber them two to one. But, you know, their martial skill is pretty good. So we're going to march to them. Oh, wait. Hang on. Is it letting me assign a leader now? Why wasn't it letting me before? Oh, this battle's won now. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Okay. No longer concerned, actually. I'm going to move my side army, because they have no leader, all into the center line. So we've only got two flanks. But now that we can assign a leader... There we go. This should work much, much better. One flank's down. This flank is losing men, while my main center flank is not. Yeah, easy. So always try to reassign your armies. Because then you'll actually have a chance. I mean, look at that. He's losing all his men. Brilliant. And we win a fight. Congratulations, men. Uh, that'll be claimed in a few days. Actually, I kind of want to chase them. Just because I can't... Don't want them to have, like, an extra hundred men. And if I can stop those hundred men from coming back... That would be, uh... Advantageous. Where are you from? Oh, you're a mayor. Oh, you're pretty awesome, actually. I don't know when you came along, but... Good job. Uh... Damn, I shouldn't have let that guy go. I just, I saw the money and thought, that's it. I want money. Okay, I understand the vassal levy has been raised too long. That's fine. Because now what we do is we take Brefine back. Or Brefany. I don't know how to say it. Okay, so we're going to go back to Brefany. Or, again, however you say that. <sighs> this fight's going to be much better. Well, this war's actually going to be won now. Without mercenaries, which is even better. Because I hate hiring mercenaries. It's just wasted gold. Okay, so we claim this back. We probably should have taken it when we were there, because they had no defenders then, but... Cool. Oh, they still don't. I outnumber them 10 to 1. So we're just going to chill out here. Let my levies come back. And then when the levies come back, we, uh... We hopefully beat them. We'll get another 16... I mean, we could just mercenary in, but... Yeah, I really don't want to have to do that. Uh, you are my daughter, huh? Alright then, daughter, I will educate you in the ways of... Diplomacy. You can learn from my brother. Yeah. No, look, we don't have enough uh, land to give to myself. Now, I'm not being greedy here, but I want all the land. Okay? So, no. You can't have it. Uh, you would be a much better marshal. Do we have a better spy master yet? Oh, we do. Oh, it's the, an earl as well. Sorry, mother. Okay, and protect myself from assassination attempts. Very important, that. Meanwhile, this assassination is just not going well at all. In fact... Hmm, I'm just wondering if I should be, instead of aiming at him, if I should be aiming at the air. You know what, I might try to kill the air. It might be easier to kill him. Because people won't have as high of a opinion of the air at this stage. And also, he's an imbecile. So, you know... There we go, people want to kill him. This is much more favourable. 
We can kill a child. It's easy. Uh, yep. Great. Welcome. Oh, I think we might be a few points short. Ah, oh, we're six points short! Damn it. Uh, someone who's young enough to actually not die very quickly. Uh, oh, actually, you, I don't think, are far away from my plot. What's this? Ah, we have gained another claim to land in Kildare. We will take that. We're not going to take go for it just yet, obviously, because we want to finish this messed up war that I've started. And we're going to try and improve diplomatic relations in Ormond. This is so we can assassinate the child. Is assassinating a child a good idea? No, but this is Crusader Kings. I will assassinate whatever child I like. It's what I do. It's what I do best. It's what I do only. It's just... Look, I'm gonna kill a child, okay? Some things in life you can't avoid. Killing a child is most of those things. And I probably shouldn't have built that since I was thinking about getting mercenaries. At the moment, though, the war score is going in his favour, because he still controls the land that I have uh, declared war upon. But, if I can get some shit sorted out soon, it will be okay. How many men do I need to take this down? 163 plus 360, so... 500, approximately? I don't have near that sort of men. Oh, you actually can take that, because it's so weak right now. Actually, I do have about 500 men. Hmm. Maybe I could win this. Now, see, this war, while it was quite basic, this war was actually really minor. When I start getting into, say, the... Scottish Wars, which I'm quite looking forward to, I'll be honest. Um, there's going to be some really bloody fights there as we sort of fight over multiple counties at once. But right now I'm just trying to focus my strength on Ireland. I could just focus and go for like a scattergun approach, but I just don't think it's going to help me. Not in the long run. Ah, we've lost too many men doing this again. But we're reinforcing a lot faster, so that's okay. Because if we're reinforcing fast enough, then... It's, uh... Word, where are you, Word? If we reinforce fast enough, we can outstrip them, because they're not going to reinforce near as fast as I can. So that's good. I mean, obviously, any war that we're winning is good. How many men are we short? Too many, I'm guessing. We're short by... Uh, 80 men. We can recruit 40 right now. It's not enough. Okay, let's just speed up time. Nothing's going to happen for a while. So, yeah... Speeding up time is always that thing that you have to do. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Will it be a son? Hopefully. I'm kind of not liking the idea that I've got two, uh, two, so many daughters. Okay, I want to marry you, but I want a... No, you're my cousin. I don't want to marry you to my cousin. That's weird. Now again, if I could get him to help me in this, I think I'd be a lot better state. Come on, buddy. Help me out. I wouldn't kill your son. Is he going to help me? No, he's not going to help me. You ignorant son of a... Well, I'm not going to help him either, so... Well, not anymore. I was planning to help him, but... 
You know, he doesn't help me. Stuff it. I don't care what he does. I will take his land. Alright, and I want you to be a... What, what am I doing? You. You're the, the successor of the bishop. Your learning isn't great, but whatever. I want you out of the uh, family, so to speak. And you, my brother, you can stay where you are, you're fine. Looking for a child, a male child, who is fairly low down in the ranks. Who is unmarried. It's not easy to find, though. No, you'll be a child, won't you? You'll be too young. Um, I, this isn't going to work. I don't know why I'm even trying it, but... Yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as I do that, it's just like, ah, uh, no, because you kind of take over then. So, political machinations, all-time low. It's okay. Ah, okay, I think we've got enough men to... No, we don't, because they're also reinforcing pretty fast. <sighs> We're going to need high mercenaries, aren't we? Ah, what a waste of money. I mean, I could just give up this war, but I'll show you why I'm not going to. If I give up this war, I lose 100 prestige. And they're not going to let me do this, because currently they're kind of winning. And if I surrender outright, I lose a ton of prestige. I have to pay 180 gold and they gain prestige. So I'd much rather pay the 100 gold or so to get the mercenaries. So we're, going to, we're just going to wait, because we don't really have a choice in the matter. Hey, we've got a son! Fantastic! Oh wait, what? We're going to lose... Oh, of course government system we're under will divide the I need to change that as soon as possible because at the moment when I uh, die my son will get the duchy this duchy and the county here which I fought so well for I don't want to lose it so hopefully I don't die anytime soon, but currently I'm only 35. So I'm probably not going to die anytime soon. That's the hope. Oh? <gasps> yes! Oh, brilliant! It's exactly what I wanted to happen! Okay, so the current leader of Ormond is about to die, leaving his sister in charge. His sister, who I have currently got betrothed. And do I have... I don't have the second sister betrothed, although I should. I should, I should do pause that and get that fixed up now. So betrothed to my other son. Yes, so that way we've got a bit of a backup if something goes wrong. always good to have a backup marriage. Failure? Damn it! That's not how you kill a child. You're very bad at this, people. How many people do I have to include in this uh, scheme? Holy crap. Is this going to go to like a thousand? Okay. So... <laughs> Pretty much no one likes the, this guy. It's just like, ah, oh, we're not serving a child. Okay, we're trying this again. <laughs> oh, I like how you've come in right at the end there. Plot power 270. This is going to work. It can't fail. 
If you get scared off by child's crying again, then you're just not suitable to be a maid. Oh, I'm hopeful this time. So hopeful that that's unimportant, that's unimportant. Come on. Give me the good news. Give me the good news. Give yes. Smothered by a pillow. Oh. But they know I was involved in this. That's disappointing. <laughs> what? Wait. What? Okay. Stop for a second. So we smothered the child, the three-year-old child, with a pillow. And then my diplomat comes back and goes, I have made him understand what a peaceful and benevolent ruler you are. And this is when we turn to him and go, We were killing him. He's dead already. Oh. Well, at least the three-year-old understands you're kind and benevolent before we killed him. And this is when I turn on my heel and just whack with the cape. So I was telling someone about, uh, one of my friends about this cape, because the cape amused me. And they pointed out if you sort of held the cape like Dracula, and sort of held it up to your face, you could actually get them in the face with the hand. And then you'd have the hand in front of your face. And you'd be like, talk to the hand. So, I was very pleased with that. Um, gee, 777 defenders. That's too many sevens. England is still doing well down there. Let, let's have a quick roam of the, of the land. Spain is not doing well. Holy Roman Empire is fragmented a little bit at the moment, but they'll deal with that. Uh, Norway has taken over part of Scotland. Eh, yeah, nothing much going on there. Oh. We're almost at Mercenary Town. So I need to be able to afford them for about two months. So, yeah. Wish this didn't happen, but we're here. Oh, who's trying to kill who now? You were trying to kill someone. Who are you trying to kill? Who are you trying to kill? You're trying to kill my son. No. No, 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 no. End your plot. Jeez. This is why I have my spy master checking out for this shit. I could put her in jail, but frankly, I'd prefer not to. Yeah, I was thinking about trying some other sneaky tricks, but... No, we don't want to be too sneaky. Alright, so 75 gold, we're going to have them for two months. When we get to 90 gold, that is when we'll hire them. And then we should take them down fairly quickly. Actually, it's going to be more than two months though, isn't it? Oh, but wait, we're just going to siege the castle and beat the shit out of them. It'll be fine. I never have much regard for mercenaries. Okay. I'm going to do something that's probably a very bad idea here. Like every other time I hire mercenaries. Okay, let's move out. And then let's hire the mercenaries. Pause. And then I think we'll end this episode with the conquering of uh, this place. So, hire the Saxon band. Wow. Martial skill 21. This guy knows what he's doing. And we will disband this unit. And then we'll raise all the units again. I like this guy. He looks like he's wearing pajamas. Chainmail pajamas. That's a legit thing. I think I've done this too early again. We're going to have to just outright attack this place. But when we have a combat skill of 21, we should be alright with that. Okay, we're going to do this way earlier than I should. I've, I've been too aggressive again.
This could have been a really dumb mistake. Oh, wait. I got a lot of money because someone died. Break the siege, come back. Okay. We're okay now because someone died and gave us a lot of money. Oh, it's my uncle. My uncle died and I inherited all his money. Yes. That was good time to die, uncle. And now we just wait. Oh, wow. This war went way worse than it should have. Okay, so my daughter here, she was the one trying to kill someone. You know what, I will actually find her someone nice. You, over here, you weren't married. Oh, you are married now. Your heir is also married. Oh. I will get you married to my daughter. More of a political thing than anything else. And that way it'll help us, and she will be out of the way, so she'll stop trying to... Uh, kill my heir. Which, to be honest, is frankly disturbing when she tries that shit. And now I've got an alliance with, uh, these guys. Excellent. So, speed up time, because we're not doing anything right now. Ah, uh, the defenders are going down. Alright, what's going on? My cousin wants a duel as rival? Uh, sure. Duel them. I honestly don't care. Alright, this place is going to fall now, thankfully. I was really concerned there for a while. I've been thinking about it for the last few days, just trying to think how I was going to win it. Mercenary turns out to be the only way, but... And I could have lost this, because I've spent, like, 60 gold on these mercenaries so far. What's this? Oh! Marrying a prince? Gladly. I will gladly have the King of Scotland as my ally. <laughs> of course, that means I may be called into his wars, but that's okay. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on mercenaries this episode. Okay, so she understands what a kind of benevolent uh, man I am, despite the fact she knows I killed her little brother. But I'm kind of benevolent, so you can't disagree with that. You know, despite the fact that she's probably seen me with my cape and just, like, smack children around. Or not just children. You know, that's unfair. I smack a lot of people around with my cape. You know, my general philosophy is, if they've got a face, it can be slapped by the red hand of Ulster. Um, sometimes we make a joke about caught you red-handed, because when you've been... Sometimes we put the hand and, like, we put it in the forge and it's burning hot, and then we brand people with the face, or with the hand on their face. Um, it's one of the things that we do to stop uh, thievery or me not liking you. It's done for a lot of reasons. Most of them are cruel. But that's okay, because that's the sort of person I am. And we have won this war. We disband the mercenaries. Oh my goodness, that went almost very badly. Next episode, I was about to say we're going to go get Kildare. But I have a funny feeling if we rush for Kildare, we're going to have the exact same problem because they've built training grounds and guard quarters, which is exactly what this place has built. And I don't want to fight that fight again. Not like that. So next episode, I think we uh, do some Ormond things. He'll be 16 soon. Oh wait, we've got an open, we've had this open council position for ages. Whoops. Uh, you do not like me at all. Oh, that's right, because I, <laughs> I was trying to kill you. Uh, I don't want you because you are a strange foreign religion. So I will put you in here. Great. I can press a weak claim apparently. Where is this claim I can press? Oh. <gasps> I can press a claim in Wales? Oh, now that... That might be worth thinking about. But then again, the people who can press this claim, kinda... Both of them are women, both of them are...
Yeah, that's actually going to help. Because both claims are from women. And women aren't of my dynasty, or I can't give them land. So anyway, guys, this episode's been a bit long, so sorry about that. But until next time, may your wars be more successful than mine, and may you not have to hire stupid mercenaries. See you next time, guys.